Hey there, this is Lula Alvey. Today I'm sharing with you the top four handbags I have been loving this summer, plus an update on my Ferragamo shoes that I shared in a recent haul video. Let's get right into it. This is a tag video started by the lovely May. I will link to her channel and her video on this topic in the description box below. She started her first ever tag on the top three summer bags in her collection. The categories were her favorite raffia bag, a colorful bag, and a mini slash micro bag. I will share my top three picks along with an honorable mention that fits into two of those three categories. Let's get right into it with the first one, the Raffia bag. And this was quite simple for me because I only have one of them. And it is this little bag here, this Coach wristlet. I love this bag. If you follow my channel, I have shown this multiple times, so I actually won't spend too much time on it. This is actually a discontinued style. It's from about 15 to 20 years ago. I don't have the exact date. I believe this exact one that I have is from around 2006. This is great for the summer if you're going to a backyard event. You could even dress this up for a nice casual summer wedding. So I love this bag. It's the only Raffia bag that I own, as I said, and Unfortunately, I won't spend too much time on this because it has been discontinued for quite a few years now. I don't even really see it too much on the pre-loved market, but if I do find any, I will link them in the description box below. This is also a coach bag, so it is relatively inexpensive. I have no idea what I paid for it at the time, but... I believe on the resale market, you can get these for well under $100. So this is number one, my Coach Raffia wristlet. This is my Alma BB from the Spring in the City collection. This was from a year ago, so it's no longer available from Louis Vuitton, but they have a few Damier Azor Alma BBs from this year that I will link to below, but this is the one that I own with this beautiful pink and beige braided handle in the classic Dami Azor. I love this because you can dress it up, wear it top handle. It does also come with a plain uh, white leather crossbody strap, so I love this. I do consider the Dami Azor print to be a neutral, so I can wear this with just about anything and I absolutely love it. The Alma BB is such a classic timeless style as well. So this is my number one small mini bag that I use for the summer. The next category is the colorful bag and I have to go with this beautiful bright yellow Pont Neuf. This is a vintage Louis Vuitton design. This exact bag is from 1999. You can find these on the pre-loved market relatively easily. However, finding one in excellent condition is a little bit harder, but this Pont Neuf is beautiful. I love the two exterior pockets. That is what sold me on this style. And what sold me on this exact Pont Neuf is the beautiful purple interior. I hope it's showing up okay on camera, but I love purple. So this bright yellow bag with the purple lining is perfect for the summer for me. And I love this because I love styling yellow with navy blue, which I'm wearing now. I think these colors look so nice together. So I like to pair this with a nice navy blue dress or a navy blue shirt with denim shorts. And I always style it with my yellow Ferragamo slides. I mean, how perfect do these match? Um, but I had a few people ask me about Ferragamo shoes, so let me do a really quick update. These are the oldest pair of Ferragamo slides that I currently own. This is the road sandal. This is the second summer in a row that I've been wearing these shoes. As you can see from the bottom, I've worn them quite a lot, but the wear and tear on the top of the shoe is really minimal. The two things I really love about Ferragamo shoes in terms of comfort 
are the padding in the bottom of the shoe. It hasn't really flattened out even though I've worn them a lot. The leather is also really supple, so I don't get blisters in these. I will say for the road sandal, there is an extra seam around the top and the bottom of the um, upper, so it doesn't stretch as much, but even so, they're still really comfortable. The shoes I bought this year, the Aurea flats, these don't have that seam at the top, and the leather, I would say, is even softer, so these required zero breaking in. From the first time I wore these, these were super comfortable. I have here the Ornella mules. I have walked for an entire day in these shoes, and again, no problem. It has a really thick, chunky block heel, so it's super comfortable. The padding, again, is really thick, and it doesn't flatten out when you wear it over a long period of time. And again, it has the really supple leather, so there's no pinching. Even this part down here around your toes, I find to be very comfortable. So 10 out of 10, I love and highly recommend Ferragamo shoes. On the topic of Ferragamo, I have to include for my fourth and final bag, my Ferragamo mini toe. This has been probably one of my most used bags this summer since I've gotten it. It's absolutely tiny, I love it. And it has a really long crossbody strap, which I use all the time. This is the perfect grab and go for when I need to just do a quick errand, um, run out to the store or just pick up my kids from school. I got a matching Ferragamo card case, which I did also gift one. Congratulations to the lucky giveaway winner. I've just been using this as my wallet recently. My cards and cash fit perfectly inside. So I've been using this. I also have been using the new Calvi that I just got as a mini catch-all. This is like my first aid kit. I have some band-aids, wipes, sanitizer, all of that in here. So I fit those two very easily in my bag. I also have my six key holder with an extra fob on it. That fits in and I have my phone case here. So as you can see, all of that fits really easily in here and it snaps up. This is the perfect grab and go. It's a mini bag. It's a beautiful bright color for the summer and this is coming from someone who typically doesn't like green that much, but this is a really wonderful emerald green color. So this is my fourth and final bag. Again, all of these or similar items will be linked below because not all of these may be currently available. Once again, thank you so much to May for creating this tag and for tagging me to continue the topic. Again, I will link to May's channel in the description box below, as well as her video on this topic. If you enjoyed this, please give the video a thumbs up and comment to let us know what are your favorite summer bags. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.